Oops, four, two, four. Now, I want to start by saying that just like abstract art, one of the things I love is abstract art. Because every time you look at a picture, you know there's something different that you had not noticed before about that picture. At times, the Word of God can be that way that as many times as you read a passage, you'll see something every time you read it, if you go in with open eyes. Say that and say, don't let your familiarity with this passage rob you from what God may be trying to say to us mm -hmm. in this passage. Luke 24. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and setting others with them. And they found a stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulcher, and told all these things to the eleven, and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary the mother of James, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter, and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, and he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your love towards us. That while we were yet sinners, you sent Jesus to die for our sins. He that knew no sin had to become sin. Because we who sinned could not save ourselves. God, we thank you for that. That being God, we ask you that you forgive us for our sins. Thank you. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Help us to be conformed to your image. God, we ask right now that you open up our hearts and minds to receive your word and listen to what you have to say to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 For the sake of the sermon, uh, let's look at verse 5 again. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, why seek ye the living among the dead? I just want to talk um, very briefly today, looking for a living Savior in a dead place. Mm. Mm. Looking for a living Savior in a dead place. One of the things that we all were made we all were made in the image of God. Yet we were all made incomplete. There's something within all of us that makes us feel incomplete. Mm -hmm. There's something in us that makes us incomplete. The cause of this is can be traced back to Genesis when Adam fell. Mm -hmm. And due to sin, we are all separated from God. Paul goes and tells us that if one man was dead, then we were all dead. Mm -hmm. We all were separated from God. Mm -hmm. 
the interesting thing is, while we are yet incomplete, mm -hmm. we look for completeness in so many different areas. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that there's only one person mm -hmm. that can complete us. Mm -hmm. Some of us look for mates to complete us. Mm -hmm. If I can just find somebody to compliment me, mm -hmm. someone to accept me, mm -hmm. I'll be complete. Mm -hmm. Some of us look to associations, um, Greek affiliates and <coughs> things of that nature, mm -hmm. masons and Eastern stars to complete us. Mm -hmm. If we can be part of a larger group, mm -hmm. if we can be accepted by a larger group of people, mm -hmm. we'll be complete. Some of us look to our family mm -hmm. to complete us. Mm -hmm. Some of us look to devious and demonic things, such as alcohol, drugs. Nobody in this room, of course, but <laughs> those who may be watching my internet to complete them. Mm -hmm. Smoking marijuana, using ecstasy, getting high, not realizing whatever goes up eventually has to come down. Mm -hmm. One thing I've said before and God continually remind me of is, when you run away from yourself, you always take yourself with you. Mm -hmm. So whatever you run to can't complete you. Mm -hmm. And here it is. I said, well, I know the answer. Why don't everybody just run to Christ? Mm -hmm. But a lot of us are trying to run to Christ. We're just looking at Christ. Looking for Christ in the wrong places. Mm -hmm. We're looking for this blonde eyed, blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus mm -hmm. on some picture. Realizing that that picture can't save you. We're looking at him through the lens of tradition, and which makes tradition more important than he is. Mm -hmm. We're looking at looking for Jesus, some of us are looking for the right person. We're just looking out the wrong places for him. Mm -hmm. And it shows up in this text where the women, the women, very interesting, mm -hmm. that it's the women who woke up on the first day of the morning to go find Jesus. They knew where traditionally he was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. After all, he had just died <laughs> on a cross a couple of days earlier. So logic dictates that Jesus should be in the grave. Mm -hmm. Logic dictates that Jesus should be in the Joseph of Arimathea's tomb. That's right. That's where Jesus was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Only to realize when they got there, they were where Jesus was, but they wasn't where Jesus was at. That's right. Mm -hmm. And are we looking for Jesus where Jesus was, mm -hmm. and not where Jesus is currently at? Mm -hmm. So many times in life, lives are like that. We always go back to the place where we first met Jesus. Mm -hmm. And look for God to operate as God has operated in the past. Mm -hmm. That could be your way of looking for Jesus. Mm -hmm. A living Savior in a dead place. Mm -hmm. So many ways. So many ways in our lives. We look for Jesus. We look for a living Savior. In a dead place. Mm -hmm. And I want to know. Why is it? that we look for a living Savior. Why is it that we keep going to dead? Nobody likes to go to a dead place. The Bible says it's very early in the morning. Who wants to go to a cemetery mm. very early in the morning? Mm. And, and, and I noticed a couple of things, and I will go over these couple of things real quick, and we'll be done for the day. The first thing is we don't pay attention to what God says. <laughs> we don't pay attention. I wish I had something deep for you, but I'm going to be very...